Alice de Florio. Florio? Florio, yeah. yeah this Florio. One's going to be um, so we left Handorf this morning and we're heading towards Victor Harbour. Uh, so we've come through and we're doing picky strawberries at the Florio, Harvest of Florio, however you say it. Um, yeah, 10 bucks for a punnet, which is about a kilo, $5 per adult entry for the fun. And eat as much as you want as you go, which is awesome. Not like Beerenberg. I was going to say, just hang on, I'll put you. Oh, Beerenberg is like, you can try two or three strawberries, but he's paying like an $8 entry fee, and I think it was twelve fifty a kilo. And the kids had to pay as well, the so. The kids had, had to pay entry as well, yeah. Yeah, so it was a lot. Like, you can only try two or three strawberries. Yeah. So anyway, so we didn't do it there. We do it here instead. And it was packed. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Victor Harbour. I'll tell you about the caravan park that we've chosen here um, really quickly. Um, we're at the NRMA caravan park. Uh, it was our second choice. We did try the big four, but they were... Yeah, we're at the NRMA. It's right on the beach, uh, Victor Harbour Beach. It's pretty close to town, like a 1K walk to town. Um, it's got jumping pillow, splash park, pump track, playground. Um, Reasonably nice facilities, probably not as many as I would like. Um, they get pretty busy in there. <laughs> um, and yeah, right access right to the beach pretty much. You just have to kind of walk through and around a bit, but not far at all. Um, lots of variety of sites as well. We've got a drive through site. Uh, they are close together. Um, so you are pretty close onto your neighbors, but um, we fit fine uh, with our big rigs. So yeah, um, and there's other ones as well. There's other like non drive throughs and stuff like that. Um, there's also unpowered camping here, which we did see a caravan on before, whether that was like an emergency, needed somewhere to stay, or whether they allow caravans in the unpowered, I'm not sure. Um, but you could ask that if you're happy with unpowered. Uh, we paid 70, uh, 75, 76 maybe, and that was with our NRMA discount, so it is on the more expensive side, it is peak season, January, um, so you do pay that little bit more. Um, dog friendly as well here, for those of you that are dog people. Um, and yeah, we haven't haven't um, not liked it, so recommend it if you want to come to Victor Harbour. I um, haven't really shown you much of the Harbour beach stuff because it is disgusting at the moment with all the flooding. Uh, lots of weed on the beach, very muddy and murky. Um, it's actually quite gross. We went for a quick walk and went, and it smelt feral, so <laughs> we turned around. Um, so hopefully it's all that settled by the time you come here um, to enjoy the beach more than we have um, here. Anyway, it has been warm here, um, as well as windy, um, so it's been very mixed weather. Um, but yeah, still really, really nice and recommend it. It's got everything here, like Aldi and um, Woolies and Coles and BW and all those sorts of things. So um, it's got everything that you need facilities-wise as well. Anyway, not sure what else we'll get up to. Pretty much just hang around at the park and use the facilities. Today, exploring Granite Island off of Victor Harbour. We just uh, walked the causeway out. Um, it's only short. So we walked from our caravan park, like 1k, to the uh, causeway, and then walked the causeway, and now we're going to walk around the island. Because it's finally not 36 degrees. Yeah, it's like 22 today. <laughs> 36 <laughs> yesterday, 22 today, jumper weather. Uh, actually, it's probably not jumper weather, it's just the wind's cold. The wind on the other side of the island is a bit cold. Uh, yeah, we're in the shelter of the island at the moment, um, but as soon as we get over this ridge line, it's going to be windy as hell. And cold. And cold. Good. That's fine. Good. I actually prefer it, I think. Yeah, well, you can see the views out here. That's the causeway behind me. Yeah. It's a bit brown and murky because of the flooding in the Murray River. You've been down this road for far too long He left your love behind But still you keep on crawling back Despite the pain inside 
Cause all that I want is for you to be happy well, Give me a chance to show that you can be Well, open your eyes and you'll see the way I see Cause all that Um, it's a booked place, Rapid Bay, but you need like so you book in advance. So, um, but when you it's allocated once you get here um, as to where you go as to where you fit. Um, and they gave us the last water one, which is nice. And on a day like today, we are so grateful. Perfection. Uh, so it's $30 a night for us here tonight. Uh, I think it's $15 an adult. Aria is free because of her age. Um, there's toilets, showers, no water, no power. So you got to bring your water with you. Uh, there's no water in town either, I believe. So you have to make sure you come with it from elsewhere. Um, dog friendly. And um, it's pretty basic. No fires allowed, um, no matter what time of year. Ah, I can't wait to get back in the water, but it's lunchtime. <laughs>
just you and me. Summertime, get ready, we are so divine. Blue water and yellow sand, let's live our dream. Summertime, get ready, we are so divine. Blue water and yellow sand, just you and me. Summertime, get ready, we are so divine. Blue water and yellow sand, let's live our dream. Summertime. Listen carefully. We're in a cave, but we can hear the ocean. Because the ocean's there and it's echoing off the cave back. Oh. That's right. Sounds like we're right next to the next to the ocean, but it's just the echo. It's pretty cool, hey? Yes, it is very cool. Let's go snorkeling at Rapid Bay Old Jetty. Let's check it out. Leafy sea dragons, baby. talk to you about Rapid Bay campsite. It's um, pretty awesome. We're pretty happy with it. Uh, it sits at the bottom of a massive hill and you have to bring your water in because there's no drinking water. So just be aware of like, be careful coming down that big hill. Uh, we're draining all that water now because I ain't carrying it back up that hill. <laughs> it's bloody huge. It's like 300 and something meters. Uh, uh, it's got a jetty over there. It's got um, snorkeling and diving. We, I went for a snorkel yesterday, it was interesting, but not, um, they say it's like one of the top three sites in the country, but compared to the tropics for me, it's just, eh, tropics are heaps nicer. Uh, what else? What else, what else? There's an old crumbling jetty, which is really cool. There's a cave down the other end. You can run generators, uh, two hours on, two hours off, between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m., so 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., so be aware there will people be people running generators. Not too much, most people are considerate. We had to run the truck for probably half an hour yesterday because we just had a solid cloud that we got zero solar in. Um, yeah. All right, catch you later. Uh, so we're now 340 meters up and we were at sea level. Uh, it's pretty much straight up as well so the worst of it I had to do in second gear uh, but we just chugged along up there at 25 k's an hour in second gear. Uh, 3000 revs like right at the top of the torque band. 
uh, now we're heading on, on to Victor Harbour Way and then across and up and south. <laughs> and around. <laughs> and around. Um, if you've got like an overpowered vehicle, like a, you know, Land Cruiser or a Patrol, I'm sure you'd be fine up that hill. It's just we're a little underpowered for our size and weight at 9 ton. So, it's what it is. Yep. We made it. And it's not a busy road, so like if you have to do it at 25 k's an hour, like it's not like you're holding up a heap of traffic or anything like that, so yeah. no need to stress. I was stressed though. No, he was stressed around I always stress about big hills. I always stress about big hills just in case something goes wrong. Fair <laughs> Good luck in Tassie then. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to meet max, max stress levels. <laughs> Anywho. Um, also thought I'd give you a quick summary of the Florio Peninsula. Um, not as green as we had thought um, it would be. And um, probably not as easy to access things as we had thought, I guess. No direct roads. It's kind of like, kind of like the York. Like, well, the York has a highway up and down and then side roads off, whereas the Florio kind of like snakes a little bit, the main roads. Yeah. Uh, it's okay though, just if you want to go east to west across it, it's a bit of a mission. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. Um, some, of the, some of the roads are in really bad nick though. Some of the main roads, especially down to Rapid Bay, uh, they're like yeah. bouncing all over the place with the caravan on. So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, there's some really good produce around as well in that kind of northern area. Um, yeah, there's only Harvest the Florio, wasn't it? Yeah, Harvest the Florio, but there's other places that in little uh, smaller towns and stuff that you can stop into, like breweries and things like that, that we just didn't really head that way because you can't camp there unless you're in a caravan park and all the caravan parks are pretty much booked out because it's middle of January, so yeah. So there's lots more you can see and do if you want to stay in caravan parks in little towns and stuff and dot your way along. Uh, we just weren't that organised to book and didn't have that much time, to be honest with you. So yeah. Anyway, I like this forest area. It's nice. day use area um, but you are allowed to stay overnight here um, right at the Granites. Uh, you, we, you can drive on the beach and enjoy the day there as well. We've had really windy weather when we got here this afternoon. We barely even were out of the van um, and this morning it's not that crash hot either. Um, quite windy, cold and cloudy. Um, you can see I've got my jumper on. Um, yeah, um, it is a gorgeous white beach um, and I can, it definitely has that potential to be a stunning beach so if you do come in and the weather's nice make sure you do stop and check this one out especially when you can camp for free there's nothing here no bins no toilets no nothing it's literally everything you need to bring and everything you need to take um i'm gonna go for a quick wander down brave the wind brave the cold and um have a quick look at the granites <laughs>
has come out. It's still cold, it's still windy. But we are exploring Robe, uh, stopping in at the beach, and having a look around at the obelisk and stuff. Not sure what we'll see. Love that will never need to hide Love will always rise above Whatever comes, we will be just fine If I am yours and you are mine Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Check this out behind me We got the jetty at Robe The one of I think this is the main one the jetty and we came walking down this hill and this beautiful sight presented itself. This is the first time outside of the tropics that Amanda and I have seen blue water like this, like a milky blue. The only time we normally see it is in the tropics where it's crocodile bloody country and you can't swim. So it's really cool to see it down here, down in Rome, down south. I don't know why it's here and I've never seen it anywhere else down south, but um, we'll keep an eye out for now. I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah, I'm taking a photo and I'll explain it. So I've framed it with the uh, bottom of the jetty in through and across. And then the jetty is like the object of the photo and the boat behind that is a bit of a layer in the background. It's really cool. Love it. Beautiful composition. And you just stumble across them sometimes, don't you? He did that, he literally ran, walked over the hill, down, looked and went, whoa, that's a photo. <laughs> that was the first words out of your mouth. Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be with me. Now we're one with the sun over our heads. And at night we'll be the stars. We can go any place that we want to I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be with me Just be with me just be with me What are we doing? Uh, we're at Beachport yeah. and checking out the Salt Lake. It's pretty awesome, a little Salt Lake. Oh, we're doing a little tour. Doing a little tour, yeah. There's been a little cool. ride around, yeah. cruise. So the sun has come out cruise. again, so we're making the most of the afternoon. The watercolour is just intense here. So that we are in jumpers in the middle of summer. Yeah, so, it's not swimming weather, but it's stunning to look at. <laughs> <laughs> not swimming weather, but it's... Yeah, it's actually pretty cool beach. Really great. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just cruising around the sites of beach walk. in 2021 and um, they're now here in Beachport um, working and um, if you watched our Cape York um, series you would have seen them take us to the tip when our truck broke down. Um, anyway, we went out for dinner at the pub 
it's delicious. Really recommend that. And now we're letting Aria burn off some steam at the playground, which is epic. Right at the foreshore. That's what.